Mm. And you know, there is something about being in your natural form. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like it gives this, it gives this mm. level of confidence. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means that? The hair that is coming out of your head, it's what someone is telling you that you should wear to church and not wear to the apartment. Can, can you imagine? The one that God gave to you, like, why is it that it's the one that God gave to me I have to hide under a wig? I am saying this not because I am not guilty. Mm -hmm. I am talking now Every, and I'm wearing has a been wig. Guilty at some because point. do you know why I'm wearing a wig? My hair is not well kept. guys welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing <laughs> today is a very special day we have a special guest please introduce yourself hi ndioma <laughs> okay um my name is ugoma um but for some reason my my friends love to call me tess tess is also my name mm -hmm. it's my my middle name so yes, my name is Ugoma, but you can call me Tess because everyone loves to call me Tess. But I love to call you Ugoma. Yes, actually. and I love how you call it. Ugoma <laughs> is a very beautiful name. Yes. I love the meaning. I love mm -hmm. how it sounds mm -hmm. and it suits you. Yeah, thank you. So guys, today, oh my God, please ignore the noise from the background. You know we are mothers, so <laughs> please just ignore the noise. We cannot throw our children because we are doing we YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so today we want to, I called Ugoma here so that she can school us and walk us through her, uh, you know, journey, her natural hair journey. It's been a long time coming for her. And if yeah. you know Ugoma, you know she has a very beautiful, beautiful natural hair. Like it's full <laughs> and healthy and... <laughs> I don't know. We, we did not want this to be scripted because we'll be doing our makeup. You can see I'm wearing my bonnet and yeah, everything. We have everything too. set. So we'll do our makeup while we talk about natural hair, mm -hmm. whether it's okay to, it's going to be controversial, but yeah. yes, we'll learn from it. And she'll teach us, you know, show us the products that she uses for her natural hair and how long she has been on this journey mm -hmm. and how it has been so far for her. Mm -hmm. So guys, just don't touch that dye. Let's get right into it. Yeah. <laughs> So Ugo, mm -hmm. um, the makeup. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I get now rock pod makeup. Today. No, rock pod, hey. rock pod, rock pod, rock pod. Test over world, rock pod. <laughs> oh, it's as if you should carry her. Should we carry her, guys? There's not makeup. so, guys. Yes, you know already that I told you guys that it's. A cheat, a glam and chit chat with friends session. Mm -hmm. So we are going to come into the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm not into. Yeah, I was not into the camera. No, but you have always been. Okay. So uh, we are going to be glamming ourselves mm -hmm. up while we tell you guys what we have in store for you. They will fall my hand mm -hmm. today. No, you're not fall. <laughs> so it's just mm -mm, nee. nothing serious. <laughs> nothing serious. So first of all, if you say our so, foundation coming, coming from a pro makeup artist, or not, ah. seem nothing serious. Not I'm not Ona, even fixing my lashes. I'm not seeing nothing serious. <laughs> nothing serious now. Google, be careful makeup that I want to do today. <laughs> Only God. Please, which one? Be careful. This woman is a clown. Wait, I think Where I brought. Your, did you I bring your this? Okay, you can use it to tie. Yeah. yeah, so that it doesn't. Did I did I do this wig well? Perfect. Ah, it's beautiful. I'm learning from you. Oh, the the student is better than the teacher <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all. Let her tie her band, mm -hmm. her frontal band, okay. you know, girly, girly. No time. <laughs> no time. So see eh, what I do. I don't, even this thing I'm wearing now, mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to affect the makeup that I'm going to do. So mm -hmm. I just pushed everything to the back. Ahead, to the back. Okay, exactly. Is it, yes. is it better yes. like this? It's now holding everything. Okay. So it Thank doesn't you. stay in the way you of see, your makeup. I'm looking up to you as a makeup, as a pro makeup. And I don't have a mirror. Why? Will you, do you know I would have? I wanted to get to. Okay. I can I can use, can my use powder. your powder. Yeah, use Make it not be like say no, you know get okay, it gets it okay. gets it gets okay. for back. Oh, yeah. But I've never used it though. Uh, let me remove it. I suppose get to this thing now from Pepco. You know they yeah, like I two. Know. I know now, but no, I know. I, I go get two because I'll be I'll still be having yeah, people more over, people so coming for the it's somehow that I have a big mirror and I'm offering them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> So we're supposed to so foundation first. Do you always go with the foundation? Okay, you no, prime I go your with face. primer first. Oh, okay. See, I can even show you. You can actually check the sweat barrier if you still want it to be intact. So, first of all, mm, 
So I should put... You use the sweat. Let me get um our... Let's do the proper proper now. Yeah. Let because me get... I, I came here to learn. I didn't come okay. here to do anything. <laughs> do, do, okay. You came, came here, here to, to learn, learn and teach as well. <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> so, so first of all, because she mentioned... Because I would have just gone ahead to, to do my foundation. Because she mentioned, let's prep our skin. Mm -hmm. And first of all, we use this sweat. We're using this... Um, pad mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so take one okay yeah so we we'll use this this is um a sweat and oil barrier use it to cleanse your face mm -hmm. first from i'd like my... to get one for myself i got this in nigeria when i traveled oh. Oh, yeah. I think you can check one of these stores. Maybe mm -hmm. not the same. Not the same. This is from Adventure. Okay. You just use it. Dab it. Dab, 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 dab. I've done my skincare. Okay. I don't need to clean my skincare. Dab, 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 yeah. dab, dab, just dab, for the dab, sake dab, of dab. this camera. Okay. Just for the sake of... Uh, yeah, you can still shower tonight uh, now. Yeah. So you just use to... Yeah. Okay. On the face. Like so. Uh -huh. Especially the places where you know you sweat. You know, mm -hmm. here. Your forehead. Your nose area and mm -hmm. here. Nothing, okay. nothing. Just here and forehead so what does this do it just prevents the makeup from breaking you know oh. from you know sweat or you can you already feel that yeah your face is, yeah it's coming together it's coming together wow so but just wow. so we don't have this very matty mm -hmm. uh, matte cakey look, look. Cake, yeah, you moisturize i have this um you can use any moisturizer though but i'm oh. using clarin so okay yeah just a little bit you can mm -hmm. now put it over your face uh -huh. wow well, this is nice all right this clarin so just so it gives it this smooth uh -huh. so that your foundation can get mm -hmm. into your skin yeah i guess nothing else with this you don't actually need a primer yeah after this. yeah because my face already has yeah. that primer uh -huh. yes baby girl <laughs> yeah she did a few device oh my god do you do foundation first yeah or i do you foundation do your... first but i don't mind learning for the new no style. i do no i do my foundation first yeah. because some people do this uh what's it called do the uh brows first no i do foundation first okay so this sticky foundation i just wanted to try i got it from huda beauty mm -hmm. okay and I use she, she Glam. <laughs> I use She Glam too. She Glam. She Glam is very good. Oh, um, I love that brand there. So this sticky foundation there, it's very. Mama, Mama, please now. I love this sticky foundation because of the coverage. Like it's mm, full, full coverage. coverage. Oh, yes. Wow. It just like, just a little goes a very long long way. way. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I see that you use a very dark shade, like a darker shade. shade yeah, that darker. I love I that love, from uh, you. I love, and you know, I have a problem with people who always want to use a very light foundation. Yeah. They always go like, this is not my skin color. I am yeah. tired than this. Why yeah. are you dry? I, 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 you? I, sorry, sorry mm -hmm. for cutting you. I no. learned that from you. I remember once you made me up and you, you mentioned it. Um, that at the end of the day, you're still going to use your, pow your, 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 your powder concealer. and everything. So it's still going to come back uh, to your natural to, Exactly. And I don't like when I, when I make up and like the foundation is too bright. Like mm. it's not like my skin color. I just mm -hmm. feel like it looks tacky and not classy not classy mm. Mm. i like that <laughs> uh -huh. so my love how did you start this natural hair journey like what motivated you natural hair journey started um during my nyc okay yeah i think that was the first time i you. i did my big chop it's called the big chop okay you did not cut everything off did you cut everything off when That's, you did uh, yes the okay. big chop okay. i cut everything off. everything oh yeah wow. i went low cut <laughs> oh wow, wow so what happened was um i realized that my my hair was not growing and it keeps having split ends okay. you know i had i have very full hair yeah. yes my hair doesn't i don't have length but, but it's very full, full but yes. it got to a point that both the full and the length, everything you was could gone. Not find yeah, I could not oh. find anything. Oh, wow. And then one of my um, core member, who was like very dead that time, mm. she was like, ah, just, just cut it and start again. All right, so as I was saying, mm -hmm. so I decided that was when I, I just made up my mind, like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's take this down. Then mm. I took the entire hair down. Wow. I would never forget what happened. Like, after I chopped the hair, 
and I went to work on Monday. Mm. <laughs> My colleagues, I had terrible, terrible. You know, when you walk around mail, oh, you have to just get ready for bands and all of that. You really have I will to never like, forget a six king against bands they because entered they don't, me. They, they, were, don't they were, were all call member working at the firm. Uh, like, I will ask you to cut your hair. See uh, your the head. person, no, like, oh, there was nothing I did not hear. That day. <laughs> But then it was all crews and bands mm -hmm. and fun because I know it was coming from a place of love and then uh, we all laughed about it and joke. Yeah, that was how you, I started my journey. Wow. With natural hair. Wow, because honestly, like the way your hair and it's been how many years now? Because well, your hair has really grown. Yeah. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. And funny thing is that like it doesn't even look like all this tacky natural hair mm -hmm. that people carry these days. It looks like it's very emo you have this rubber hair yes yeah silky <laughs> hair because yeah. i know i have a very hard hair so how uh, like how how long has it been and how have you been like taking care of the whole thing um about how long this is this is it there's um i started at my nyc was 2016 mm -hmm. yeah then i started my natural hair towards the end of 2016. okay then in 2000 and 18 i had a big chop i had another chop but oh, not chop but not very deep i just cut i cut oh. this this end okay. this was what happened you know i was still learning how to keep the hair okay then i started using um hot hot comb, comb. oh so that you know to stretch it because then i i god i was you know team natural hair uh -huh. I, i'm always packing my hair you know just flaunting it and when i when you are passing on people are looking at you like i'll carry oh. my fro there was one day i was going to work like, ah is that your hair i said yes it's my you know those, so most times natural most hair is actually very yes, fine and attractive yes. like there is no it's an attention getter yes. when you see one that is very you know healthy yes. and well taken care of there is no way you do like to exactly compliment. so i i didn't know that while i was doing all of those i was actually spoiling Honey your hair yeah okay. i was actually spoiling my the tips of my hair was not as thick as it should as okay so i decided to chop it again in 2018 okay so but from 2000, 2018 to date i've not touched you've it. not touched yes. it so this is like say five five yes. years post yeah post another big chop yeah so wow so that's it wow and how do you take care of your hair <laughs> honestly <laughs> Like I would always say, um, stick to what works for you. Okay. You understand? Stick to what yes. works for you guys. Yes, it doesn't it doesn't have to be like what everybody Every other is doing. Is doing. Yeah, at the at the beginning you could keep trying other things, mm -hmm. but when you find what works for you, just you can just, just stick, stick to, to it. it. So this is how I take care of my hair. I I I have um wash days. Okay. I have regimens. Regimen is just like um Okay, that one keep that one Three. for okay okay when we are done making up oh okay okay, okay 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 so that's like sit down and talk about that okay, one just okay okay so okay. how i take off yeah. my hair basically is i make sure that um i i don't stress my hair too much mm -hmm. stress in the sense like you don't use you don't make some kind of styles is that what yeah, i can make any style but okay. i don't over you know there are people that make hair every month. Okay. Every month they don't lose hair. <laughs> every month they don't go do braids. Every month, yeah, you could make I your pro protective styles, but mm -hmm. you don't overstress your hair. Your Another hair. stress, stretching it, doing Stretch, exposing it to a lot heat. of heat. Oh. I naturally dry my hair no matter how I wash my hair. I just you let will. it dry naturally. Okay. I, I can't remember the last time I entered dryer. I can't even remember. I heard that. Um, artificial heat like causes harm to the yeah, natural hair yeah. I, your scalp your hair everything. everything yeah it's really bad so guys i think we are going to go off the camera to get our makeup done mm -hmm. and equally take care of the baby when we return we will give you all the things you need to know about how to take care of your hair mm -hmm. and how to maintain your natural hair so sorry guys so so sorry please <laughs> welcome back guys we are back we went off the camera to just finish our makeup so that we don't take so much time. How do we look? Please rate our looks. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling so fly right uh, now. Like, uh, <laughs> Honestly, you look beautiful. Mm. But let them be the judge. Mm. <laughs> um, on a scale of 1 to 10, just tell us 
how we like how well we did with the makeup okay thank you so much and before we get right into what we're going to talk about let's introduce our businesses to mm -hmm. you <laughs> Mm -hmm. You already know unboxing with Bube. There we sell all kinds of female fashion items, mm -hmm. ranging from dresses to shoes to accessories, and we also have personal shopping services where we shop for um, customers who are willing to shop when one hundred dollars and above items, items worth one hundred dollars and above, with just ten percent of your total purchase. You have your orders delivered to your doorstep conveniently and Tess would tell you about her own business <laughs> wow this is great um thank you thank you so much You're for welcome. giving me the platform to you know it's introduce. nothing <laughs> all right so yeah yeah my business uh I run a personal shopping services mm -hmm. Tess Intimates and um yeah we we shop um all range everything female <laughs> clothing accessories and um, on special requests, we shop for mail too. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. some people will be like, oh, I want to get something for my husband. Yeah. Can you help me get something for my husband? On special requests, we don't normally put it on our page, mm -hmm. but on special requests, we shop for meals, we shop for kids as well. And also, if you have like a party coming up and then you need someone to help you shop for gift items, mm -hmm. you know, general personal shopping stuff. Yeah. But basically, what we shop for is women accessories. But the other ones are just on special requests. Request. Like if you want and then um, you need someone to help you run around for all those things, yeah, 10 centimeters, it's always there because everything about us is just <laughs> making every shopping experience an intimate and a personal one like yeah. how we deal with a bube it's not going to be how we deal with, um, with um, Ada. Ada. so it's, it's an intimate and you experience. can follow her on ig as yes, well please. as i'll just leave everything on the screen mm -hmm. after this when editing i'll yeah. be on the screen yeah so yeah let's just get right into the main topic we were already talking about it but Tess here is going to give us all the tea that we need mm -hmm. to know about natural hair taking mm -hmm. care of natural hair mm -hmm. and why it's important you know um this controversial topic that came up last year towards the end of last year when people were talking about eh, eh. <laughs> I don't want to show my real self here, yeah, but somebody was busy saying, eh, your natural hair is for your church programs. That's where you want to pick up your child from the kindergarten and natural hair, like talking down on natural hair, like it's not something that you are supposed to wear to mm -hmm. big occasions. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in my mind, I was there thinking, why would you like rate the hair that God gave to you? I mean, your own hair. Mm -hmm. It's even unfortunate. I'm equally guilty of that as well. I was making up and I was wearing my natural hair. Mm -hmm. When it was time to uh, look all glam up, I went to the wear wig. the wig. <laughs> Do you get? And it's just something that been, that has been cultivated in us. It's been mm -hmm. like, it's, it's now like a culture, like mm -hmm. a way of life. Mm -hmm. We no longer see it as a problem because yeah. why would you carry your natural hair and mm -hmm. it's looking so bad mm -hmm. and you are okay with it because you know you're going to just top it up with mm -hmm. someone else's hair yeah. i am guilty of that and that was the reason i decided to like start this whole natural hair journey mm -hmm. i would chop off my hair maybe by april may let's see yeah. how it goes because i don't want to do the big chop i just mm -hmm. want to take, take off the once, relaxed yeah. you know mm -hmm. area and then grow mm -hmm. um the the natural one so it's so for that if you're doing the other one it's called the transitioning okay yeah, okay yeah. So, so i'm going to transition, transition from yeah. relax to yeah, not, relax. exactly yeah. so that's what i'm going to do because yeah. everybody around me has a problem with me you know going low look out no my mom everybody that means means something to me like feels like it does not um what it to just go natural like that like just go low right now test let's just tell us how oh could no problem to, to honestly right now less. right now you know <laughs> so, you know before just... before i give birth mm. um i'm not a judgy person like i said earlier but i've seen uh, videos of moms mm. losing it so as i was saying before i got had my baby mm. sorry that i had to digress mm -hmm. a little you know this is on court and all of that mm -hmm. so i've seen videos of moms, moms losing it like crying shouting looking all frustrated and um unkept and sometimes I'm like oh, how when does it get to this point where where you just lose it and 
you are all like you know what i don't care how messy my hair looks i don't care how people look at me mm -hmm. guys now i totally totally can understand, understand. it's 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 you, you <laughs> these kids are not predictable exactly. you know i talked to my little girl like since last week i've been telling her that we'll be going to auntie Bube's place and all of that you know just to carry her along you know, as, as, as a trained teacher I, okay. I know what inclusiveness is Means. you know i try to practice inclusion you know taking her along with everything i do you know in my mind i'm trying to prep her that okay we're going out you need to behave yourself mm -hmm. you know let me do what i want to do but guys since we are here this is how many hours now she has just been all over the place she wants to come up if you carry her she wants to drag and all of that it's it's so, just normal with kids you, the patience is what makes it um easy mm -hmm. like once you've mastered the art of remaining patient mm -hmm. and you know just accepting them the way they are mm -hmm. if you've decided to have kids it's going to be a controversial topic we're going to talk about it here yeah, definitely if you decided if you have decided to have kids then this is what you are going to yeah. be seeing yeah. and that's why i no longer like want to convince someone who thinks that having kids is not the best next mm. best no. thing to do in just, their life just leave them please just if you don't want to have kids it's okay don't mm -hmm. because if you don't have the patience for kids the, you are going to end up hating your little one and no this need. child did not ask you to bring her forth into the world mm -hmm. so if you know you are going to do it please do it well like we're doing it now mm -hmm. i don't care if my baby is going to come here on youtube with me mm -hmm. i don't know are you okay if he's going to shout down the roof it's my channel and yeah. if you don't like kids then you it's fine go. you you can go you can. there are people that love kids that will yeah. even enjoy the Honestly. noise it's fine don't, don't feel bad yeah now. yeah talking about that like my community on youtube already knows uh -huh. <laughs> you you will hear her from the background. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I mean, mom, yeah. I can't throw my baby away yeah, because when, I want to create content. Let's have the question about um, how you feel. how I feel about um, the whole thing. Carrying your natural hair as it's, it's supposed to be like church and all of mm. that. It's it's a very demoralizing thing to say as a black woman because honestly. <laughs> I'm supposed to come to this um, for this show with my natural hair, but I've been so occupied. So mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. I had to call. I had to tell her yesterday that sorry, babes, I could not lose in my hair. Mm -hmm. I, I planned honestly. I planned to come in with my and hair. It would have know, been so beautiful. Flaunt it you, for you guys honestly, to see because honestly, very natural <laughs> hair is a beautiful thing. I, it was one of the best decisions I made. I do not regret going natural. natural and see i used to say that the fact that i'm natural doesn't mean i would go talking down on people, people that are not natural na yes i, I understand? understand but you going around saying natural hair is, is not what's rocking oh, it's a lie it's it, honestly you lie if i remember one video one of my sit down videos on youtube that everybody came out i was like now you're heavy that yes because, it's like, my hair it was mind-blowing honestly like, it's as if i i i've always known that she has a very yeah. beautiful natural hair but that was <laughs> like almost i was like this is your hair yeah. it's the fact that you can style it however yes, honestly. you want so, however you wish and use it to rock whatever kind of clothes you want, want to, to rock. Yeah. and you know there is something about being in your natural form mm -hmm. honestly like it gives this it gives this level of confidence mm -hmm. do you know what it means that the hair that is coming out of your head it's what someone is telling you that you should wear to church and not wear to the party can, can you imagine the one that god gave to you like why is it that it's the one that god gave to me i have to hide under a wig i am saying this not because i am not guilty mm -hmm. i am talking now Every, and i'm wearing a wig guilty at some because point. do you know why i'm wearing a wig my hair is not well kept yeah i am waiting for the time i'll go and do my cornrows mm -hmm. i cannot rock it like like that mm -hmm. if i losing my hair i cannot carry it like you because mm -hmm. it's either it's rough already it mm -hmm. has an undergrowth mm -hmm. or it's too relaxed or do you get like mm -hmm. i cannot use it to do all the things i want to use it but that's mm -hmm. why i want you to because i know there are some people who are actually watching and mm -hmm. they don't know what to do with their hair they don't know if they should go back to relaxing their hair because keeping natural hair it's not easy it's not uh, so guys now she wants to breastfeed so maybe we'll go off the camera so you breastfeed it it's not easy no can you 
you can actually raise Cut. this camera to this place. All right. But right, like when I want to edit uh, it. When I you want to edit, yeah. No, so no that problem. we don't keep going. It's part of the on mm. Don't mm. worry. Just like so mm. that it will be on our shoulder on our level, shoulder. just our face that will be showing. Okay. So guys, sorry, we have I have to breastfeed that. It's part of what we were saying earlier. Mm. So back to our topic of this mm -hmm. discussion. Natural hair is beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I know it takes a lot, but then it's worth it at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, there are so many prejudices and so many controversies and so mm. many things about natural hair. There was one time that, you know, there in the States, Yankee, you can't wear your natural hair to interview you know there was this prejudice about uh fussy hair are you serious yes yes it oh. was that bad that they, they wanted to just wear wigs like this to look like to look them. like them but then i i'm happy for how our black sisters over there were able to you know fight the whole thing and you know start rocking their natural hair that was when this whole naturalista thing started you know okay. black girls started rocking their hair no relaxer no, and please. it was so beautiful and i think that was when i was also inspired to start to the whole natural. naturalista journey okay. guys your uh, natural hair is beautiful it takes a lot to take care of mm -hmm. i mean good things takes a lot yes good it, things takes a lot if, if we are to if we are to, to be honest to be honest honestly it's something um i would I would, I'm not regretting, it's something I'm not regretting mm. that I'm doing. Okay. And then, yeah, Ebube has, has been saying it for a couple of weeks now that she wants to go natural. And a couple also, of months. Yeah, sorry, I'm a couple of months. I'm beginning to sound like yes. a broken record. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm happy to hear that. And I told her the last time we were even talking about it, like, I really want to see her. She has a very beautiful, thick hair. And it's, it's, it will be so beautiful to see her. <laughs> On, on a natural um, thick hair without the relaxer <laughs> and don't. all of that and also girl relaxer is also not too good for your scalp there, there's been a research um, okay. that is was... saying how that relaxer causes cancer yes causes and fibroid. To, yes because i don't know i'm i'm going to find the post while i'm <laughs> I'm going to find the, the post and attach it to this video mm -hmm. um, while editing where a girl talked about how her fiber shrunk mm -hmm. when she stopped using relaxer. relaxer and two years after she went back to using relaxer and it, it grew back. times three. Wow. Wow. It, it grew times three wow. of what you used to be. And then a doctor replied with PDF of a research that's been going on mm -hmm. that saw, they don't, you know, they mm -hmm. don't know for sure. But you it know how was. they say that um, smoking is part of the things that causes, um, uh, what's it called? Liver, kidney. Li liver, kidney cancer. But some people would tell you, my father has been smoking. He died at ninety. Yes, we know. But they are saying, can you eliminate this? We are looking at this. It looks like it's part of it. But mm -hmm. let's eliminate this and, and see. see what next mm -hmm. you get. So that's how they are saying that black women, no, eight percent of black women, um, have fibroid, have tendency yeah. of having fibroid yeah. and ovarianosis, my myoma, mm -hmm. myoma or and if you look at it, it's not actually like if you look at it well. Oh, relaxer is actually very bad. Yeah. Something that has the tendency or the capability oh. of burning your entire yeah. hand, yeah. burning your hair. And you're using it on your scalp. On your scalp every time. Like yeah. there are some people that do that relax every two months, every month. It's crazy. I am not here to judge yeah. because I, I like last the, you guys the, have seen this on this video channel. Is not meant for judge. I'm not judging. It's just to, it's just to to and shed more light, light on, on that topic yeah because why i decided to go natural is because i've been doing this um relaxed hair thing and i've still been enjoying my hair mm. it's not there's never there's no difference because i relax my hair today mm -hmm. in next three weeks it has come back to yeah, having because of to be. how thick your hair yes. is. Yes. So there is no point relaxing and relaxing. I just have to find a way to manage the hair mm -hmm. that I have mm -hmm. um, and, you know, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, and Tess, mm -hmm. could you please show us some of your products and how yeah. you use them? I'll help you get them. Thank you uh -huh. very much. I'm enjoying... Can, can this continue? Uh -huh. like, so you just help me carry all my uh, things. Yeah. Help me carry my bag. Help me carry my, yeah. my, my food. Uh, feed there, me. There there is no problem at all. And all, of that. all right, so if if you're watching this video and mm -hmm. you intend 
to you know go natural. Ah, she came with the whole nine want... years. <laughs> oh my god. Either you want to, either you want to do a um, big chop like I did when I started. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my mic okay. was here. Okay. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking of um you know going natural. You oh. want to you want to be a naturalist? Um, <laughs> either you want to do big chop like I did, or you want to do a bubble style. Okay, you want to do the transition. Mm. Um, these products you can. This is um the basic. I brought them because they are like the basic. Basic, basic. yeah. Okay. So the very first thing um you need is a very very good. Uh,